How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Bilsif. I'm your host, Bilsif. Friggin' right I am. She's a beautiful Monday day out. Careful! Hopefully everybody's staying safe like I am and staying home, boys. On today's episode, I'm going to show you the proper way to wash a vehicle I am. Maybe. The proper way I wash the vehicle. As long as I can get through her, boys, because my ribs still damn well sore as hell. But anyways, we're going to back the Silverado up here a little bit. Get the hoses out. Bucket filled up with water. But just so you know, before you go do that, I just want to say, when you're washing your vehicle, you always have to go to Go Glass and Accessories to get your Surf City car wash soap. It is friggin' decent. That's all I wanted to say. Friggin' right it is. But uh, we'll get the stuff moved around right now and then we'll uh, we'll get at her, boys. All right, we're ready to go here. So first thing we want to do is fire up the power washer. I got the drone up in the air so you can hear it in the distance, but once I fire up the power washer, we'll be here anyway. So we'll get this thing fired up and here we go, boys. There, we got it all friggin' wet and down we do. Now make sure you take off your bugs off the front grill and stuff with power wash if you have one before you start soaping, it makes it a lot easier. Friggin' right you do. Where the hell's my brush, boys? Well, there we go. The drone lasted about half a wash. But we got this thing washed, and I might do a little bit of body work on it today. I'm not sure. It's some bills of body work, hey? You guys have all seen that before. Not too good. But hey, help slow her down, boys. That didn't feel too good on the old River Ruski. Why? I need employees like Jamie out there. Jamie gets people to wash his truck. Except for his good one. You're sitting at home too, aren't you, bud? What are you doing? Nothing? Probably. Why wouldn't you? It's friggin' warm out today, boys. It's almost short weather today. So we'll get this all cleaned up and wrapped up and then we'll uh, move on to something else today we will. I just wanted to show you how my day started. Why wouldn't I? I got thinking, boys and girls, since it's a beautiful day out, I ordered myself a bracket for my Maverick Air remote to hold my iPad, eh? It's gonna be like a month before it comes in. And I hate taking my phone out and this and that and the other thing, so I'm gonna build myself one out of wood temporarily to hold my iPad for now. Come along for the ride and I'll show you how I'm doing it. Why wouldn't I? So first thing we need to do is determine how big the iPhone is, boys. Friggin' right we do. All right, so an iPhone is six inches, so we need some six inch strips we do. We'll get a square piece first, and this is all cocked over. Couldn't get any better than that, boys. Here, I gotta show you that. Pretty decent, eh? Friggin' right it is. All right, so now that we got three of them, which is almost the width of an iPhone, we need a piece of wood. So I'm gonna use a piece of two by three for this next project. Uh, careful. We're gonna mount that piece of wood to this wood. Okay, boys, so this should work. This angle that I got right here is pretty damn good. We're gonna use decent to uh, assemble it, we are. So I'm gonna need. Gonna need. A drill and some screws. Help! We got a bunch of these little buggers that we're gonna use up because they're just sitting around doing nothing, they are. So we'll put this like this and we'll center one in the middle, boys, girls, people, it's like that. We'll drill the pilot hole. And we'll run one in. I'm gonna get the power drill. I don't like doing things by hand. All right, there we go. Now we can do it right. We're gonna motorize, baby. Oh yeah, Captain. Well, there's one. One with no splitting, boys. That's how we roll, eh? We'll put this one on. I don't know if we're gonna need two screws in that one, to be honest with you. Cause it's just a guide. Actually, I don't even know if we're gonna need a third one on there, to be honest with you. Oh my God. That we're locking there, noise, boys. Friggin' right, does. Oh, well, here you are. And we'll put one more on there just to be safe. Why the hell wouldn't we, Jim? Are you watching this? Probably not, but you might be. All right, so there's that part done. And as you can see, it goes in the remote just nicely, it does. And it actually holds on pretty freaking good. So now what's next is we just need to find a way to mount the iPad on there. Which should be the easy part, to be honest with you. We gotta determine whereabouts we want it to sit. It should be right there, it would be good. Yeah, that'd be good, boys. So, what we need to do is we need to do a couple strips to mount this. There we go. So now we just gotta mount them on there. We'll take this back out so we don't wreck the friggin' remote. We'll mount these on here, but we're gonna have to countersink these ones. We're gonna use nails for this one. That way it's got a nice flat head. There's not much to countersink on that. So we'll just line them up in the middle and we'll uh, put a couple pilot holes in there. She doesn't need much to hold her. I gotta go on the counter for this. Hold on, be right back. There you go, boys. 
Couple nails, nice and sturdy and slot in there. Slot this back in here, like so. And then now we just get them out. The eye package to it, eh? Friggin' right we do, look at that. That's decent. Now you're probably asking how am I gonna do that? Friggin' right it is. So if we mount that to that. So there we go, boys. I just took the case, I put a couple countersunk screws in her, screwed her down to that wood, and now this thing should pop right in, boys. Oh, yeah, we did. There you go, hey, eh? check it out. So there you go, homemade case for the Maverick Air Remote. Oh, yeah, that's freaking comfy, too. Big time. That's how the dirty old bills have rolls. I did that in less than, I don't know, five minutes. So if I did that in less than five minutes, you sure could. Does it stand up? Sure does. It's almost like a design it here, boys. So there you go, a 10 minute project with dirty old Bill stuff. If you're bored and you got a drone and you want to mount an iPad to it, there you go. Two pieces a quarter by one. So you need three pieces of that six inches long. You need a two by three with an angle of the dangle in it, about 25 degrees and about uh, three and a quarter. And then you need two more long pieces, about uh, eight and three quarters, boys. And you got yourself an iPad mounted drone remote controller. Easy. Well, there you go. Took you along for the ride. 
Those are a few little things I did today. Felt like I actually got something done today. It wasn't much, but I got something done. For tomorrow, I'm gonna try to think of a way to cook something. I might do a cook with the bells tomorrow. Might. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell bar button. Tell me if you think that's a good idea or not. Stay safe, stay at home, and don't do anything I wouldn't do.